Hello everyone, my name is Zo, and finally it is time to start mapping and actually count how much currency we get for each set of 40 maps that I'm gonna do with different atlas strategies and maybe we can find some, I don't know, some secret tech, some secret atlas strat that was not found until now because I have a few ideas in mind and I'm really curious if uh, they're more profitable than others or not. That is why we're gonna start with this atlas right here today. And this atlas is all about league mechanics. We have Abyss, which is uh, the king of my strat anyway. I'm gonna have Abyss with projectiles in each of my strategies because I uh, do not plan to run Legion so Abyss is just a no-brainer I just love it beside Abyss what else are we gonna have we're gonna have Expedition and we're gonna get Expeditions via a Scarab I'm not invested in anything else but I just took Extreme Archaeology so we don't stand and uh, you know add another a lot of bombs in our maps it just takes too much time so that is why i took extreme archaeology then what else we're gonna do well we're actually gonna skip harbies but we're gonna still have beyond delirium <clears throat> this time i'm not gonna have it as a sextant but instead i just took the percent chance now this should add the delirium to our maps like almost half the time which is pretty good because the delirium sextant is very expensive right now and i just uh, for this strat i just want to you know start a bit cheaper what else we're gonna get well we're gonna get rituals too now i don't have anything on three taken from rituals but rituals do tend to spawn quite a decent amount of monsters and the ritual sextant is pretty cheap so that was a no-brainer i just took it to test it another thing which is pretty cheap and i can get is alva alva does actually have quite a big quantity increase on tree and a quite a big passive uh, pack size increase with these nodes over here so why not try it the sextant is only like seven eight chaos really really cheap Okay, because we talked about all these, let's complete the list of sextants. So we're gonna have Abyss, Alva, Ritual, and Beyond. Now, this is a seventh gate strategy. As you guys could see, I have seventh gate allocated over here. And that means that we're gonna get, take Abyss from the map device. And that is why we actually had to buy the beyond the uh, compass over here and the beyond via sextants is also a lot better because they increase pack size in your maps for scarabs i'm gonna run the abyss scarab of course we're gonna go full gilded we're not going any winged just yet because as i was saying i wanted to be a bit on the cheaper side so we're gonna have gilded abyss gilded divination Gilded Expedition just to add that expedition to our map and Gilded Reliquary. For maps, I run, I rolled all these maps myself, standard strategy, just chaos spam it until I get the plus two projectiles and then uh, exalt it. To drop these burial chambers, you don't actually have to do anything because Burial Chamber is naturally a tier 11 map so they will drop naturally not too many though you will only drop a couple of maps so maybe in the end you will have to remove the watchstones if you do not have enough of them there are monsters and there are conversions that will drop you burial chambers naturally even with all the watchstones in your uh, atlas so don't worry about that for now if we check the spreadsheet over here we can see that the price for map is actually quite high it ends up to be 
around one divine, almost one divine. Because each map, like to roll it, it will cost you around 40, 50 chaos because of all the chaos roll you do and the, the, the exalting at the end. Like the scarab prices went up quite a lot. Even the gilded ones, they're still gonna cost you like 80 chaos per map. The sexes prices, even though we use two of the expensive ones and two of the cheap ones, it's still like 68 chaos per map, which is kind of crazy. And I think if you want to make a lot of bank right now, you should actually roll sextants and then sell it. Because for only two expensive sextants to pay 68 chaos per map, it's, it's pretty something, it's pretty cool. And that brings, as I was saying, the price per map to around 190, 200 chaos, which is still under less divine. And I'm pretty sure if you get 5k juice per map on average, you will get two, three divines out of your maps. Now let's see how much divines per hour this is though, because uh, I'm not expecting to do more than three maps per hour, to be fair. Three, uh, four, I don't think I will top four because that means one map every 15 minutes. So that, that will not happen. One map per 20 minutes will, will. All right, time to go, run the maps, live on stream at twitch.tv slash games, and we'll come back with the results after a couple of days of mapping. See you guys in a bit though, because you know, on YouTube, it's only a few seconds. Right. Whoa, 21 divines, nice conversion happened to me too hey <laughs> oh look we have some scarabs anybody ordered some scarabs oh my god yo my friend look at this gimme gimme queen scarabs queen scarabs but not yet, because... Oh my god! Look at this! Ah, <laughs> Blue Juice Second Mirror, boys! Yo, clip that shit. Clip it! <laughs> and I am back after running the 40 Burial Chambers. <laughs> As you guys could see, well, we dropped another mirror. But of course, I will not add this into the calculations of the profit, because... I know it's really, really rocky. I got two mirrors in two days. That's, that is kind of nuts. That shows you how crazy this league is. Anyway, let's open the stash. Now my filter is so strict that I barely see any currency. I mostly see chaos. Like, I don't know why I still see, a, got a few regals over here in alchemies and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I mostly pick up Veiled Chaos, Divine Orbs, Chaos Orbs, Regals, because I still like Regals, Fusings, and stuff. And on this other, in this other stash, I mostly have Divination Cards, Scarabs, and Voiborn Reliquary Key. Now, luckily, Exilence Next is working this time so let's put it up to see all the profit we made so first let's talk about the settings now i set a, pre a price threshold to like 40c because there's no way i'm selling anything under 40c this league so why even put it over there in the in the recordings As you guys can see over here in settings, I'm only showing the two test tabs and that's it. So we made <clears throat> in 40 maps, a total of 47.790,000 chaos orbs. And that in the divines is 222 divines. Now, the most expensive stuff, well, they were raw divine drops, of course, 94, which is pretty good. 
But it's not the craziest. I don't know. Maybe I was lucky. Maybe I was unlucky. I got only one uh, currency conversion that gave me like 17 devices or something. And uh, all of the rest are just raw devices dropping one by one. Another thing we got and that it, which is expensive are the Valdo puzzle boxes. Now we got 20 of them and that's pretty cool. They drop a lot more whenever you have blue juice. Whenever you have a lot of blue juice, they tend uh, to drop. If you're going only with purple and yellow, you don't really see one. But uh, yeah, they're pretty expensive. As you guys can see, it's 602 kills each. So that's like two and a half divines each, which is pretty cool. That is why I wanted to try the tier 11 burial chambers. That is the for and the fortunate cards, which are on the third spot over here. We got 102 of them. And that is 102 divided by 12, 8.5. So that is uh, 16, 17 divines. That is pretty pog. 17 divines in fortunate cards. Now, also a bunch of chaos that we picked up. We also found nine warm or reliquary keys. Now, if I remember correctly, in cemeteries, cemeteries drop a lot more warm or reliquary keys. So I would think Valdos and Voidborn maybe share some kind of a drop chance. I don't know. But we're gonna see in the next text what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna run a bunch of cemeteries, 40 cemeteries, and see how many keys we will get there. It's gonna be interesting. And we also got 93 exalted orbs, so we are quite on par on this one. And yeah, we did get a couple of uh, scarab conversions and quite many winged, as you guys can see. Seven winged uh, reliquary, eight winged abyss, and so on. Which is pretty cool because that is uh, exactly what we need. If I scroll down all the way, you guys will see over here on the next page that, yeah, the only <laughs> item that I show are uh, kind of uh, the most expensive ones. Because if I would go a bit lower, they would add like a couple more devices, but you're not going to start selling them. So this is fine. All right, now if we pull up the spreadsheet, we're going to see that we have a total return in chaos, as I was saying, 47.7 thousand, and that is 222 divines. The total invested was 7,600 chaos, so there is a total profit of 40,190 chaos. And that in divine is 186.9 divines. Now the maps do take quite long. I average, I did these uh, 40 maps in uh, 14 hours. And that takes the divines per hour profit to 13.35, which is pretty cool. And again, it does not include the mirror because if it would, yeah, we would, uh, like triple our, our profit right there. A mirror is over 500 divines right now. So it's pretty crazy. Now, what did I learn from this run? Well, first of all, I learned that expeditions are not good. Actually around half, uh, around after like 20 maps, I noticed that uh, Abyss was bugging out because of expedition. And yeah, I just took Expedition out and put Harby, the Harby Scarab in. It kind of bugs out the Abyss and makes uh, sometimes the Spire not to spawn. So it's not that great. I'm still considering also the Ritual, but uh, I will think I'll still keep it in uh, whenever I'm going to do the next Cemetery maps, just to keep everything kind of on the same par. Another thing that I noticed is uh, 
the fact that I had to use the lightning coil quite a lot, if I had uh, over 6k juice on my maps, I needed to use the lightning coil, which kind of, you know, I lost 15 quantity and 50 rarity with it. So, yeah, I don't know, it's going to be interesting because hopefully on cemeteries I can keep the grids embrace on permanently. And it's not only that, but I have bought myself a simplex amulet, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to see how much stuff we get with all this extra quantity in the next 40 cemetery maps. It's uh, going to be pretty interesting. All right. That being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for being here. It does mean a lot. Keep walking, Exiles. The next map awaits you.